But uh, looks like we got our guests a little bit early. Okay. Who we got? Joshua Frazier. What's going on? Yes, sir. Hey, good day, fellas. Good afternoon, man. Appreciate How's you guys having me back champ? on the show. How's everything? I was blessed. I have my fight coming up this weekend on Saturday, and um, it's the last week of camp. Um, I, I know you guys been around a lot of fighters. I know you guys know how that goes sometimes, so I'm just a little bit hangry, but uh, it's a good thing. Yo, what's the weight cut like for you, champ? Are you one to uh, do the sauna and the sauna suits and all and and all of that? And or are you one that's drinking water and working that weight off as fight week goes along? Um, so I, yesterday I almost hit my weight by accident too early, so I had to go get some food last night. And yeah, I'm gonna be doing a little something like that. That's so a good problem gonna, to have, though, right? It is. It is. Like, okay. It is. You know, because at the end of the day, you're not draining the muscles too much. I guess for the science fact of it. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm right where I should be as usual. The saunas and everything, I don't like the dry saunas anymore. I feel like it's not that it's, it's too hot for me. I get like this this real burn right here at the edge of my nose. And then mm. I don't have nosebleeds. And then I get nosebleeds the next morning. So it's like we started to do infrared. Um, I don't get no cognitive issues. With, but I do enjoy it. Like I enjoy a hot sauna every now and then. Like not, not so close to the fight, but maybe outside of camp. I do enjoy those hot old school hot saunas. No, that's good. I, I, I hear that the saunas may not be the, the healthiest to cut weight. That's why I was asking them if you use them to cut weight, but you say you don't. But you're back this weekend, 8-0, and uh, looking to make it 9-0, and back home in Canada. Um, Obviously, I just saw you while you were out here, champ. Talk to us about how excited you are, Uh, you know, to add another one to the record book. You know, I'm shooting for 9-0 and again, and this guy... This guy may have had some stoppages on his record, but I heard he's been in the ring with some good fighters as well. On top of that, his record, I believe, was I don't want to just throw it off the top of my mind, but you know, he like 14, 11, 11 and 1. Yeah, yeah, something like that. So definitely um, a veteran and a step up for you. Over 130 rounds fought and so has fought good names and has fought everywhere, you know. So him coming, he only been stopped by a few people. One of those guys was Brian Mendoza. Yeah. He so, even went ten with Karen. Yeah, bro. he went ten with with, with Karen, uh, who we saw boots fight. So not it's that long it's ago. certainly a barometer fight for us to see where, see you, where at. you at. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait, man. I'm excited too. Like like you said, as as I get closer to the fight, I get more and more excited. But I still try to keep it inside, um, stay composed about everything, and just like the game plan is set. I've been training hard, and you know I'm, I'm prepared. Where could people watch this fight? So I was actually going to say, uh, I'm kind of bummed. I don't think it's on the zone anymore. What? But I, do, I don't think so. But I heard it was. But um, someone had told me we weren't doing the zone anymore, which yeah. is kind of sad. I was sad about it. But uh, if you're in town, you can come down to Pickering Casino. <laughs> Hit up my promoter, um, United Promotions. They're doing their thing. And uh, if you are in town, come on down to the show. That'd be the best way f to see the show right now. But um, I'm going to see what's up. I'm going to see if, if they have a live stream. And if anything, you know, go on my page at Jay Frazier. Or, you know, my brother's been helping me out a lot. I'm going to double tap in with him. I've just been in the gym so much this week, like this last two what, months, you know, from Vegas. Vegas was good. Big shout out to, you know, Split T Boxing, you know, Eric over there. And shout out to, you know, Top Rank. Frank Yo, how was, did you spar at Split T? Um, I sparred at Split T. I got in the ring with one kid that had the same name as me. He had no fights. Um, and then I got in the ring with a fella, KO, who's with the PFL and the okay. PFL. But I did, you know, big shout out to Troy Isley. Um, when I came down there, Troy gave me some rounds on the day out, the night of the fight. I mean, earlier the day of the fight. And, um, you know, shout out to Troy. He's got a fight coming up. And if I can make it back out when I'm done with my business, I, I'd love to join him in camp, too. Yo, um, so wanted to ask you, and the reason I asked if you sparred over there, bro, isn't that, like, the smallest ring you've ever seen? Or, like, one of? No. Um, we got the smallest ring, bro, in our gym. <laughs> bro. We got like, a ring that's made for not running. Um, But 
before the fight, I, yeah, we got a we got a small. I can show it to you guys, but we got a small ring. It's made for, really? for not fight, It's made for not running away. That's crazy. I want to get you know. I specifically wanted your thoughts because I think maybe one other would... ring in town that's smaller than that. Mm. And that's I actually enjoy. State, you know, I enjoy fighting in the big rings because I'm a tall guy. I can really start to take large. I don't take much large steps, but I can start to really emulate those larger steps of like how it's going to be in the 28 or the 26 inch ring. You know, to... Nah, they don't get that big, champ. Yeah, I think 22, 20, 22, yeah, yeah, 24 20, on the outside. Yeah, 20, 22 is usually, you know. But I feel like I feel like split tees is like a 14 foot ring or a 16 foot ring. But a lot, uh, other than Troy Isley, who else were you able to get uh, work with while in Vegas? I just trained. I just ended up training. Uh, it seemed like it seemed like we just took it as a mental vacation because I did try to get some rounds in, but maybe it was last minute or I came in the wrong timing. I want to say if I would have been there a week earlier, you know, shots up to top rank again. Frank was saying that there was a whole bunch of one fifty fours in town. Oh, you came while the gym was closed, right? Basically, so I guess because it was so close to the fight, I guess they're only doing media stuff in the gym and. Only the fighters that are getting ready for stuff were in the gym, but most guys were having their time of the weekend. I guess they were at the show. Yeah, that's yeah, that's right. That's right. Well, champ, man, we we don't want to hold you too long. We know uh, you cutting weight, and obviously with no streaming, not not much our American audience can do besides continue to follow you, man. Like you said, you're gonna put it on your um, Instagram. Instagram, right? I'm going to try to see if I can get someone, you know, if anything, I'll just throw my phone to someone and see if they'll, they'll videotape it, go live. I don't usually go live, so I'll just give my phone to someone and see if they'll do it for me. For sure. Well, Joshua, man, uh, we definitely respect you. You know you on your grind, and you're moving rapidly, man. So salute to you and your team for, you know, doing such a good job. This is a great Thank step you. up, and, and, and we get to now see, you know, where exactly you at. I appreciate and it, you know. Please continue um, you that activity, bro. Job. Okay. I, you know, I love that activity. This is now your ninth fight in less than two years since Turner Pro. Love the activity. You know, For get real. get back in the gym. You know, get back in the ring and, you know, uh, hopefully be able to come out for a longer training camp in Vegas and get some more work out here. Were you able to connect with Cody Crowley out here or no? Uh, no. I want to say um, no. I want to say no. I uh, though. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Like, it was just bad timing. I want to see if I would have came a week earlier. It would have been perfect timing. Yeah, like, it, it yeah, been... Next time you think about coming, you should try to get a contact in Silas, Jim. He got a lot of 54s, too. Yeah. Brian Mendoza's okay. over there. Gabriel Master is a every... welterweight, but he's fucking huge. I, I won't hold you fact. guys to either, but I find that every time I come to Vegas, I have a better, better time. I don't feel like right now the strip is for me. Like, I don't think maybe I'm... It's not that time for me yet on the strip, but I most definitely, you know, I, I got to see. Uh, we went down to the weigh-ins, and I just had to be closer to the belts in the 54 division. I wanted to see how it is and just see if this man was going to look him in the face. I still haven't seen the Charlo. <laughs> um, I still haven't seen the Charlo Canelo fight. I'm sorry, guys, but I was training that weekend. And I ended up in the gym that day. I flew out that night, and then basically... I don't know, I'm sorry, I didn't even nah, sleep you the focus, whole night. man. You focus Look, on your life. I feel like I feel like if anything, <laughs> next time we talk to you, I want to hear your thoughts not on the Canelo Charlo fight, but on the Lubin and Hessels Ramos fight. Which can I write? Like, can I write it down? Let me let me watch. Absolutely, it. absolutely. That was a co-main event, right, Ness? What the Lubin and uh, Hessels Ramos? Mm -hmm. It was co-main oh, event that I night. Seen, oh, okay. And you know there was a. Uh, I, you know, there there was a lot of different feelings for that, that fight. fight. Close fight. You know, and that and that's your weight. Fight. That you know, that's your weight division. So, okay. So we wish you the best this weekend, champ. Keep us, uh, keep us posted on anything. Let us know if there's some last minute streaming of any sort, and uh, give the so give your social media to the fans so they are able to follow you and keep up with you. Hey, everybody on the Boxing Voice, man. Big shout out to you guys. I appreciate you, all you guys watching, all you guys just listening right now. Uh, my name is Joshua Fraser from Brampton, you know, Ontario, Canada. And uh, these two fellas right here gave me an opportunity to let you know that you can find me at J Fraser Boxing. That's J as in Jack, Fraser, F-R-A-Z-E-R, Boxing. 
Um, if you ever do want to connect, you just add it at gmail.com on the end or any social media, you'll be able to find me. Um, and uh, Joshua, we got one of these these fans that ain't get in the ring asking, was you getting touched up? Is that the reason the strip was not good for you? Can you explain um, why you why you said the strip wasn't good for you? Oh, the strip. No, I be because when I'm walking around on the strip, all these girls just want to take these photos and then they go, oh, ten dollars. And then after you keep moving <laughs> down the way, yeah. Yeah, there's one to get that jumps out and he goes, oh, get wild. But he, you know, he's not really wild. I don't know. I don't know. It's not made for me yet. Not an actual strip. That's what I was talking about. Boxing wise, I love it. I love Vegas. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boxing now wise, now Vegas. I get what you mean, yeah, though. Yeah, some, some weird shit be nah, happening on the strip. No, yeah, bro. Man. After the it. pandemic, it's only gotten worse, yo. Like I kid you not, it be. I was I was walking into the MGM one day, and uh, I had a guy walk up, and I see him. He coming from the side, and and he get to to, to the side of my face, and he that whispers, close? bro. Like he get right here. Yeah. Wow. Now look, he look, look. Got stole. Nah, 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 look. He 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 walking up to me like, yo, yo. I'm like, what's up? He like, and, and he get like right here, and I'm just looking at him. He like, yo, I got that crack. Try it before you buy it. I'm what like, the what fuck? the fuck, bro? On that side, yeah. <laughs> they get crazy out here. You gotta be, you gotta be careful, bro. I was watching a TikTok that said the Rio. Is it the Rio? Yeah. What about and it's it? It's eight dollars a day. Oh yeah, I'm sure you could get. Some what shit. the fuck? Nah, look, nah, eight dollars I mean, a day. Bro, to stay like, no, when I got, bro, I'm telling you, the, <laughs> the summer of 2020. The summer of 2020, when the pandemic was like dying down, but kind of still going on, bro, you could get a room like after resort fees for like 50 bucks a night on the strip. But 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 eight dollars a day is crazy. Yeah, bro. I'm talking Don't about, get me wrong. They also bro, said that that's the worst hotel in Las Vegas. Nah, I, and I, I, and I disagree with that. Though. They said I it's heard a five lot of worse. Moving to Vegas. Yeah, probably five. Yeah. I heard a lot of people moving to Vegas right now. Too many. Yeah. So, I'm, too I'm many. new. I'm new. I, I got about a year and some change now. Okay. I got a homie who lives out there outside of it, off the strip. Um, nah, it's, 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 it's every, definitely... Bro, everybody, nobody lives on the strip. Nobody, nobody wants to live on the strip. No, nice and nobody wants... Too. Like, bro, nobody, nobody even, even wants, wants to, to go to the strip. Like, once you a Las Vegan, you... Your strip becomes Henderson and and, and Summerlin. Yeah, yeah. Facts. You okay, so there. basically, I was in the right place. I was hanging in Henderson, so there yeah, we go. Hell yeah, I live in I'll Henderson, bro. You feel me? I I'll live be back. Henderson. Yeah, bro. Henderson Let's to me is like a whole nother world. Like I, I, I probably been to Henderson one time. That shit's too far for me. Man, shout out to La Bonita. Them guys kept me alive that weekend. Grocery store had me good. Uh, yeah, that yeah. should sound like a strip club. They be nah, 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 nah. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I'm fucking with them. They all, it do sound like a strip club, though. But I, 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 I know that one either. Look, C Dub. No, C Dub will tell you, bro. He said, I stayed at the Stratosphere for 145 for the week mm. in July 2020. Bro, I stayed there. Like, yeah, but ain't no, no, the strat listen. the one that spins? No, yeah, 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 yeah. That's another dub. Yeah, That's another dump, bro. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Bro, but look, though, it's still not, like... It's mad crackheads out there. For it's sure. crazy, yo. Vegas look, got though, hella crackheads. I'm saying you go in the rooms, bro, you ain't, you feel me? Like, I, no, I hear you. I like, hear you. bro, I was bringing girls out, put... They was happy in the strap. But you know I you ain't bougie. Me? I'm a I'm a holiday in express. Give me my waffle maker and I'm straight. You feel me? I'm okay. Old head. I'm old okay. Head. But Joshua, man, we appreciate you, man. Go ahead and do your thing. Uh, because we definitely gonna rate you after this one. Hey, God bless you guys. I'm gonna see you guys after the show after you go to work. For Let's sure, go, champ. bro. Thank appreciate you. you. There you have it, Toronto. T Tan T Town stand up. I said T Tan. I don't think he's from Toronto, brother. Uh, what up, YouTube family? Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Help us get to that million subscribers. We're on the road to a million. And obviously, we have other great content on our Patreon channel. So since this video is over, head on over to our Patreon and check out all the exclusive content or right here on our YouTube members.